Hey, we have another integral from MIT Integration B 2022. This was problem number 10 on the qualifying exam. We got an integral from one to zero, e to the e to the x minus e to the e to the x minus x dx. I really don't like having this kind of um, addition or subtraction in the exponent, so I wanna rewrite this whole thing. So one thing you need to look out for is integrals that are the product rule. The product rule just tells us if we have two functions, u, v, and the derivative of those, it's gonna be u prime v plus u, v prime. And so the kind of the giveaway in the integral is when you have either addition or subtraction in the middle here. So you kind of have, you could split it up, but you don't want to because this is gonna be similar to this addition in the product rule. And then you also want two similar terms you know, if you had something totally different here, that wouldn't make sense. But because we, in both cases, we have this e to the e to the x, and we have a bunch of e's, it makes sense that this is actually probably this in reverse. And these are a little hard to unwind. I usually kind of guess and check and like try different things. So let's try this. Let's try u equals e to the minus x, e to the e to the x, and see kind of what happens. So when we differentiate this, du is going to be... Okay, so we're going to use the product rule, of course. So we differentiate e to the negative x, and we have minus e to the minus x. And we're just going to keep this term, so we're going to have e to the e to the x plus e to the minus x. We differentiate this guy, and we have e to the e to the x. Derivative of this is e to the x dx. And then let's simplify this. We're going to have minus e to the negative x, e to the e to the x. Now, the key here, e to the x times e to the minus x is just one. So we have e to the e to the x. And then the key takeaway here is, this whole thing is actually just our integral. I could have it in a different order, right? But if you flip the order, it's the same. So if this is our du, then our answer to the integral is just this u. But let's actually, write it out so we're gonna have first let's change our limits of integration so we'll plug a 1 in here and we're gonna have e to the negative 1 let's just do it because it's kind of confusing so this is gonna be e to the negative 1 times e to the e to the 1 I'm just being explicit we plug a, a 0 into here and we have e to the 0 is 1 e to the 0 here is 1 e so we're gonna have e to the e to the 0 is just e and then, like I said, this whole integral is, this, this whole thing is just du. So we're actually just integrating du, which is the easiest integral in the world, right? Because so that's just going to be u evaluated from, let's write this as e to the e minus 1 to e. So now we just need to substitute this in here. So we're going to have e to the e minus 1 minus e. And that's going to be our solution. So... So all we did here was use the product rule in reverse. Those are good ones to look out for on a contest problem, but they're you kind of have to guess at them a little bit. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a. Um, I don't have a simple way for actually solving them. But once you identify them, you usually can get to the answer. So I'll stop it there. MIT 2022 problem number 10. Thanks for watching.